just working with our company, you're going to get to work with a lot of bright individuals. Everyone is open and, and ready to, to help you and definitely big on advocating for making sure that you succeed and, and reach your potential. Everyone's goal is the same, to make the best products that we can for our clients and, and make sure that it is everything and more that it could be. What's kept me here? Our culture, we're genuinely a very great group of people. Everyone is just always willing to lend a hand. When I have a suggestion or a concern and I voice it, leadership actually hears me. As a consultancy, every person has a role and has something to bring to the table. There's just a lot of opportunities here if you're up for the challenge. Jump on board, be part of the fun ride, because we're going places. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. You're good at making big announcements. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. Aspen Creek Grill, we are a from scratch concept with comfort fresh food. You can expect a, a world-class experience on, on a great budget. We've got incredible specials, great service. Today's dish that we're gonna highlight is going to be our Aspen Blue Sirloin. It is again, our premium Black Angus certified beef. And we top that with the blue cheese crust. Again, everything that we do here is made from scratch and it's no different from our steaks. We hand cut all our steaks in house. So our team back there, uh, is, it's just an incredible team. Everything that they do, they take so much pride in. They put a little bit of themselves into everything that they do over here, especially since it is a made from scratch concept. We want everybody to come visit us, enjoy some great food with some great service. Bring your friends, bring your family, come have some great food, have a great time with us with some of the best comfort scratch food. Thinking about what to do after high school? Consider a career with Boilermakers Local 374. As a Boilermaker apprentice, you'll earn while you learn. We offer excellent wages and benefits, and as part of our no-cost hands-on apprenticeship program, you'll learn from the best in state-of-the-art training centers and on the job. Become a union Boilermaker and get on your way to a great career. Find out more, visit www.local374.org or call 219-845-1000. Bertner Electric Incorporated provides professional commercial electrical contractor services.
to Indianapolis and surrounding communities. Locally owned and operated for over 30 years, our knowledge and experience make us the perfect choice for all your commercial electrical contractor needs. Contact us today. Thanks to you. We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune into all of the live action or go to our on demand service and relive your favorite moments. Sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirits, to pure sports. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. Hey, Indiana, let's clear the air about vaping, glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word. First, me and my mom were struggling. I was trying to pay the bills and trying to take care of my mom at the same time. When I first heard that I can get paid for taking care of my mom, I was kind of skeptical because I had been doing it for so many years without pay. That's when I reached out to Passion to Care. I read all their reviews and I saw that they were number one in the field. Passion to Care has really, really changed my life. Right now, I take care of my mom 24-7 thanks to Passion to Care. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN.
You are watching IHSLA Lacrosse on Indiana SRN. Today's matchup features the Heritage Christian Eagles and the Westfield Shamrocks. It's the INGLA Game of the Week right here on Indiana SRN. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by the Morales Group, building better futures one story at a time. Aspen Creek Grill, why go anywhere else for delicious food? Burtner Electric provides quality electrical services in central Indiana. Boilermaker 374, we're second to none in quality and performance. Passion to care, beyond home care, where passion meets purpose. Clean Slate, inspired innovation that moves business forward. Piper Logistics, from warehousing to transportation and everything in between. The Indiana SRN Sports page, wall-to-wall -wall sports news every day. Check out indianasrn.org and click on the Sports Page tab. And finally, the Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference. Watch the best Division Three basketball and spring sports on HCAC TV, where you always have a front row seat here on Indiana SRN. Westfield and Heritage Christian, the Shamrocks arrive today at five and five, and Heritage Christian hosts at six, five, and maybe a one because their last game was canceled. I'm Joey Lindstrom alongside my broadcast partner, Keith Myers. The coach is with me today for the INGLA game of the week and what a game we have. We have beautiful weather by the way. I know that's something, something that you want to cover right out uh, the gate. I, I do because uh, the bright ball that's up in the sky today I named it today. What would you name that? Well I named my son Sun because he was so bright uh -huh. so I named that thing Sun. That's nice. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, an, that's really inspirational. You know, seriously what a beautiful day. Saturday we were had great weather as well. Today we have great weather and Tomorrow we're on the baseball diamond, and guess what it's supposed to do? Rain. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Conveniently. Well, well, the nice thing is we have turf here today. We're yes. set for a great lacrosse matchup. Let's talk about the big picture of these two teams. These are very familiar opponents. Somewhat of a rivalry we have in front of our eyes today. Yes. Westfield and Heritage Christian have both met many times before. Once already in, the, in 2021 and 2022, the second time, as well as last year nearing in the playoff tournament. Uh, Heritage Christian won the state title in 2021 and 2022, but prior to that, Westfield had won the state title game over Heritage Christian in 2019 when both those schools were both 1A for all those titles. So there's a little bit of pedigree on the line here today. Yeah, and you, and you know who knows that is the players. The players, the coaches have told them. Now, that I'm sure coaches tell you, they told all the players, you know, this is just another game. But coaches know this is how important this is. is. And to, if you look at the standings, Heritage Christian's ranked 10th in the standings, uh, in the rankings. Westville's 11, and they're that close. This game is just going to be really a, a, a mistake here, a mistake there, and it could cost you the ball game tonight. Well, what's special is that both these coaches are – large proponents not only of the sport obviously because they're coaching it but also for the growth of the game in the state of indiana and that's something we feel very lucky and pri privileged to do is bring that growth to the audience here at indiana srn talk a little bit about that i feel like the uh, lacrosse coverage has grown quite a bit and what a beautiful thing it is for the sport you know i think we're the only network in the state that actually has men and women lacrosse and number of games that we're doing we're being, uh, paying attention to the atmosphere of this game. It's a growing sport. The women's game has grown tremendously over the last couple of years. And you know, that's what that we're, that's what Indiana SRN is all about. And if you want to help us put more of those on, there's a donate button right there on our website. Hit that and uh, guarantee you we'll, we'll get more coverage. Westfield, let's get a little more granular here. Westfield yes. comes into this game five and five, coached by Kirk Rice in his season here this year. They've had a lot of success under Coach Rice. They've been able to create this sort of uh, sensibility around, hey, we've had a good program over the last few years. Now our youth is starting to get a little bit older. We have quite a few seniors on this team, six of those in fact, one junior, three sophomores, and two freshmen. This is a team that is really front-loaded on the offense by Ali Weirich with 20 goals to lead all scorers and five assists. And talking with him, you know, they lost a heartbreaker against Noahsville on Thursday. Bounced back Saturday to play a pretty good Castle team to get back to 500. He's really uh, excited about their back to 500. Tonight, what he wants to do is put more pressure on Heritage Christian and make them make mistakes and get, get in a win here tonight. They're without Charlie Coxes, so they lost earlier in the season. After five games, she suffered a torn ACL. She had nine goals in five games, so an impact performer that goes down, maybe that is a reason why some games they just haven't been able to get over that hump. 
On the opposite side, you have a Heritage Christian team coached by Beth Bowles. This is a team that has over 120 goals on the season and 34 assists. They also know how to turn the ball over when they are on defense. They lost uh, Riley Cornwall uh, last year. They're All-American, but they have Jessa Watt, who is really one of those players that, uh, you, as a defense, you just hope to control. But it's really hard to do such a thing. If they play with the same enthusiasm that their coach has, this place will go nuts because <laughs> th their enthusiasm will overcome mistakes because they will work hard on the def defensive side and also on the offensive side. They have six seniors, and we'll get to the rest of the crew when we get into game action. You are watching the INGLA Game of the Week. We'll step, step away for a minute here. You're watching lacrosse on, ES on <laughs> excuse me, Indiana SRN. <laughs> We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to 17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter, at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now, at Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and... Welcome back to Indiana SRN's coverage of the INGLA Game of the Week. Heritage Christian and Westfield getting you set here as the starters get rolling. Keith, there is another detail I wanted to mention too about Heritage Christian. We were just catching up with some of the parents here in the booth and Riley Cornwell, the All-American from a season ago, tore her ACL against the same opponent and on the same field as Charlie Coxis did for Westfield. It's an unfortunate there, but uh, Riley will be going on to play collegiate lacrosse at Calvin and she will be having surgery on Wednesday. So good news for her and good vibes and good luck sending her on her recovery. You bet. Good other key players in this team. Look at Isabella Escoto, 26 goals and three assists. Natalie Kerna, 24 goals and nine assists. Anya Riggle, 10 goals as well. This defense also is pretty potent. And you also look at the goalkeeper. Number 18, Katie Dixon, nine games played this season, 37% save percentage. Of course, Beth Bowles would love to have her at a higher spot, but this defense is so good, they don't get a ton of shots on goal. The opponents don't get a ton of shots on goal because of how good this defense yeah, is. Yeah, but she talked to coach today. She thinks she's got to be a key. She's got to be at least at 70% tonight because mm. she thinks they're, they're going to put a little bit of pressure on them. That could be a tall order at time. And we will go to break for our national anthem. Be back with you in a minute on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to 17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. 
Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Indiana SRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. And with that, we are almost set for first draw here on Indiana SRN and the INGLA Game of the Week alongside the Coach Keith Myers, Joey Lindstrom with you. Let's get down to it. What are some keys to the game for you today, Coach? Oh, of course you're going to do that to me, aren't you? <laughs> for Westfield, quick start. You got to be a quick start. Heritage is very, very good at home. Quick start. Do not turn over the ball, especially in the uh, crease, and eliminate your turnovers. If you're Heritage Christian, you got you got to put pressure on Westfield right away. You score first, second, third time. Maybe, just maybe, you can break it wide open. Uh, but I think this is going to be a one to two goal uh, score, to be honest with you. A tight one, you're predicting. Yes. All right, I love that. By the way, uh, our game of the week for the guys this week: Cathedral, Hamilton Southeastern on Friday night. Uh, this is a pump game. That definitely will be too. Uh, <laughs> lacrosse. If you want lacrosse, you got the right place at Indiana SRN. It's a rematch of the 2022 state championship game. By the way, you already done your homework, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Easy when you, I guess, when you were there. <laughs> Here we go. First draw will include for Westfield Sophia Merriman and for Heritage Christian. Jaden Marsh and the draw is a bit of a point of emphasis for Kirk Rice's team. This is a group that really does well in the circle, averaging about a 51% success rate. So this is a group that wins more than they lose. That is for sure. And the first errant pass goes by the way there for Westfield and picked up by Natalie Kernut for Heritage Christian. The first offensive possession for the Eagles. Working through is Bella Escoto. And she tries to slide through. Gets the dodge and gets the goal to go. Pass Jasmine Gonzalez in between the feet of the goalkeeper. Escoto's first goal of the day. Her 27th on the season. Look at this. I mean, did you quick start? You get the beat off your defender. I'm glad Harry just listening to my keys of the game. Yeah, how about that? Well, you said quick start for Westfield. That would well, be the opposite there. I'm going to take credit we'll give for you, it. We'll okay. forgive you on okay, that okay, one. thank you. appreciate it. <laughs> they still have time. We're, we're about 30 seconds into this thing. Troy, I missed you already. <laughs> Am I giving you a hard time? No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Troy Darangowski, our other resident girls' lax commentator, and does a great job and I tell you what, it, puts it, up with Keith most it, days. It's been a lot of fun this year. Violation on the draw. This will be a reset. I'm going to redo here on the draw control. Heritage Christian, also a team that really locks into the way that they can move offensively in transition. You ought to look out for that as well, as this ground ball quickly picked up by Allie Terrell. And try to work in transition for Heritage Christian. Got big wins over Center Grove and Evansville Memorial this this season. Working behind Cage, Bella Escoda once again. Maybe trying to make it too early. And she's defended well. Look at that. She she draws three or four players right away. And an early early foul. I'll give a Escoto here on the left hash. A chance to shoot her pass. Let's 
And she'll charge toward the cage on the free position. Ball got jarred loose. And a, a check close to the sphere that is the verdict there. So this will be another free position. And a much better angle for Bella Scott if she wants to try to take a rip here. She needs to take a, at least a step, correct, Joey? That's right. And she gets it to go home. Two in a row for Bella Escoto. And very quickly, 9.56 mark, you're down 2 nothing. Here we go. Just quick shot. I like Nicely that. done to get it to go home. You know, in those free position shots, you have the ability, if you'd like to, to go ahead and pass if you have cutters going. She likes not to. Calls her own number. Jaden Self back at the draw here for Heritage Christian. And Sophia Merriman as well for Westfield. So there with the with that redoing this, what is what's the officials looking at? Typically Jerry, it can be help. for a number of reasons, and we have a resident coach in the booth that can help us too. But be, being able to have a spot where if you're either moving the stick too quickly or you're in wrong position or the ball's not symmetrical, what have you, it could be there's a number of reasons why they might call a violation. And the ball has to go over their shoulders on their attempt when that'll scoop for our first Westfield possession. That's Allie we uh, Weirich, leading goal scorer for this team at 20 goals this season. She gets turned over. Nicely done by Ellie Klingerman. Ella Klingerman, excuse me. To cause that turnover, back the way of Heritage. On the run in transition, trying to find Jessa Watt closest to the crease and a good ground ball from Zoe Mal Maluski. Westfield in transition once again. Seeking its first goal of the contest. Off to Riley O'Brien, and Westfield will begin possession. Sophia Merriman, a little lane trying to sweep through. And she'll earn a free position here. Looks like the officials having some time with the uh, Sun today. Merriman, the second leading scorer on this group. And just a freshman, by the way. Oh, And nice. she gets it to go home. The first goal for Westfield belongs to Merriman. And you hear the cheers of she's a freshman. And she's been balling out this season. 14 goals now in the year. Taking draws and taking shots, Keith. Mm -hmm. How do you assess the first couple possessions here? Well, I think side? it's pretty, pretty good to look for us right now. Yeah, both uh, sides seem the to offensive, be. Offensive pat, uh, punch. But we expect it, though. Two evenly matched teams. A lot of lacrosse left in the game. And Westfield has been a bit more of a defensive-minded team this season. Get there about we go. Eight and a half goals per game on average. And giving up about nine, if I remember correctly. And it's their ball to possess. Ella Lowry. 
one of the veterans on this team and fellow senior, the one of the, one of the six on this senior-laden group. And Westfield turning it over here. A good turnover done again there by Ella Klingerman. Well, that's a good catch. It sure was. Natalie Kernut will bring it up and smartly wearing the helmet. That must have been a good parent decision. <laughs> You'd love to see more uh, more helmets on the girls. I, I don't know. And I played in high school, but I would never go out there without a helmet. Well, I'm telling you right ball. now, I want them to wear pads. Oh, we've got a goal. Huge goal. Nicely done by Bella Snyder to get it home. Make it 3-1 in favor of the Eagles. I, I would like them to wear equipment, Jerry, uh, no. Joe, Joey, just like the guys, because I think it would be a lot more physical game than the guys. That's always been the argument, and I, I contend that women's lacrosse in its most pure form, Here. when you take away the equipment, it's a lot more finesse. It's a lot more about the way and the scheme that you that you work with when you're on offense. And that's a big reason why I love this sport. And men's, yes, the physical aspect is a big part of it, but that's just the thing. It is a big part of it. Women are forced to work through with their the best parts of their athleticism. Of course you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Heritage Christian has put a lot of pressure on Westfield early in this ballgame. Yeah. You know why I couldn't play this game, though, Joey? It's the Cradling? whistle. The, no, the whistle keeps on blowing. I would stop every single time the whistle would blow. Normally they do have to. Quick restart can be the case. But not always. Oh, look at here's that. a huge interception. Jessa Watt. We told you there was going to be some electricity. Oh, hit the post. But it hits the post. <laughs> oh, an open net, a, oh. an offensive player's dream, and a goalie's worst nightmare. And tragically in that possession for Heritage Christian. Now it's Westfield on the run again. The Rocks are trying to move forward on this possession to get in to get in their half field set. And it ends in a turnover. Be Anya Riggle bringing it up, and Bella Scoto unable to really contain that one, but she gets it back, working through on an offensive possession. That's a result in a 12 meter free position. Even further back. Mm -hmm. Nice pass. Down underneath, Anya Riggle back behind Cage at X. And what a save by Jasmine Gonzalez. Enter today in a 42% save mark. That was a great one right at the door. And now Westfield's off and running. Nicely done to try to work through and getting a shooting space it is Westfield. That's Kayla Rice. The senior and older of the two siblings, her sister Kenzie wears the number 14, and the coach's daughters. She'll charge toward, toward the cage and it's oh. wide of Katie Dixon. Oh. Near the sphere there. And a foul called. The Heritage is the benefactor here. Yeah. 
Natalie Kernut will bring it up through the field of Shamrocks there. I like the defensive pressure that Westfield has put on them. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're starting to enforce a little bit more and mm -hmm. press the issue as Ella Lowry defending. Uncomfortable to bring it up. Bella Escoto, the only one to take free positions today for Heritage, if that tells you a little bit about her play style today. Strategy. Inside. Oh. Looking for Kernut. And she gets the ball checked away. Have to at least give a little room for Ella Lowry to get yeah, gotta breathe, to get, gotta breathe. Yeah, to get moving here. The clearing game is proving to be a tough thing, a to weak do. point here yeah. in Westfield's game. As Escoto ends up with it again, it's getting a little chippy, huh? Just a little bit physical here well, in the early rival. going, by the way. You don't think the officials know about the history of these two teams? <laughs> I'm sure that there's, they were, they were probably briefed as Escoto works through a little physical contact. That'll count. 4-1 Eagles, Escoto, an early hat trick. Leads the team in goals, continues her reign. Told you about, about just a lot in the pregame. How about the Escoto? Release. Look at the release. And I like to go five on the uh, sticks. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slap hands. You know, those are the money makers. Yeah. 146 remains in our first quarter here on Indiana SRN. Give you a chance to tell us, give us a chance to tell you about Officially Human. Our mission is to re restore respect to game officials and recognize them as authorities in the fields and courts. Thanks to our officials. Without them, we don't play. Sportsmanship is everyone's job. As Heritage Christian has held a 4-1 lead in sportsmanship, obviously, Keith, very important in a rivalry game. I kind of like the three officials that are working today. We're used to seeing them. I think we follow them on Tuesday, and they were with us on Saturday, and they were with us tonight. So they must check out our They're schedule. <laughs> we want to work with the Indiana SRN crew. Want some TV time. <clears throat> Ball didn't go above the shoulders, so this will be a reset, and that one is true. Merriman done well to keep on those wow. draw controls, but she gets wrapped up there with Watt. And off to a Westfield, Westfield possession. You can tell it's spring. The motorcycles are out. <laughs> Wyrick working through. And good defense, but a foul. On Allie Terrell. Well, this will be a free for Wyrick from the 12 meter. Oh. She loses the handle on it. And then picked up briefly by Watt and finally corralled there by Heritage Christian. And they'll get it on the quick reset. 45 seconds left in the quarter. Got to get going here if you're Heritage Christian. Plenty of time to score here. Look at that speed. Beautiful game. Beautiful part about the game. You can move end to end very quickly. Ball gets tied up and tossed around. Riggle was charging towards the cage down the alley. Westfield, minimal time to get this one down in transition. They have Wyrick if you want her. Nearly a two-on-one opportunity. We're back to even strength. Final seconds waning, and Westfield tries the whole possession. No, they'll shoot towards the end. Katie Dixon lets it fly by, and at the end of one, Heritage Christian holds the lead 4-1 on the INGLA Game of the Week here on Indiana SRN. Be back with you in a minute.
rightfully standing with us. You are truly making a difference in the lives of our neighbors in need. We really focus on modern application development, DevOps, so automating the whole process of delivering your solution, and cloud architecture. It's very important uh, for large, mid to large companies to have cloud partners because you can't possibly have all the talent you need to address the complex ecosystem of the cloud. We advise them on all parts of their business. And then when things are defined and we see a clear goal, CleanSlate also then goes and does the work. We have a team that is very passionate about what they do. We love to solve complex problems, and there's a lot of companies out there that will avoid you know, getting involved in those things, and I think that's why clients like to work with us. Sam Sweet and Savory Cafe offers traditional food like Grandma used to make. A great staff and even better food. Check us out Wednesday through Sunday. Call ahead 317-760-1640. Also brought to you today by Wheeler Mission. For 125 years, Wheeler Mission has been a pillar in the Indianapolis community, providing help, hope, and healing to people in need. Volunteer today at 317 686 39 I saw you fist bump for Well, Tam's. Tam Sweet and Savory Cafe is open Wednesday morning, 9.30 Booth number seven, biscuits and gravy, orange juice, slice of bacon, and some hash browns. I'm ready. Makes me wonder who secured that sponsor. Uh, uh, I, all I know is booth number seven is known as the coach's booth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Trademarked and stamped in bronze. <laughs> Debbie goes in and says, I'll take, oh, you get the coach's booth. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a buffet of goals so far for heritage christian oh, very good. in this uh first quarter what was your assessment of that I, I, first 12 I, very quick start of heritage christian which uh, you know they really needed but i think westfield needed it more than they did but they feel re they look like they're more relaxed in this ball game a lot of that is they're playing at home and it's teachers appreciation night here well how about that so there's some teachers that are watching there shouldn't just play. be one teacher's appreciation night, though. No, you know? no, we should have it like two. We should have mom and dad appreciation night because we got moms and dads in the press box tonight. Dads are probably watching at home. Here we go. Trials were mostly in favor of Westfield in that first quarter, thanks to Sophia Merriman and the rest of the midfield. But this group has yet to find some consistency on the offensive end and working on goal on extended here will help as a shot gets maybe interfered with there and checked away nicely by Grace McCool. How about stick to stick? Yeah, off the shot there from uh, Kenzie Rice. Beg your pardon. The clearing game was trouble for Westfield, not so much for Heritage Christian in that first quarter. That'll prove to be important again today, or here in this second. It's Natalie Kernut working through on the dodge. Oh, good separation there. Backs away off the slide, getting all she can handle from the defense. Maybe a little bit too aggressive there. Annie Hamilton there. Yep, on the defense. And this will be a Heritage Christian possession. Worked to spin a few times. A lot of the movement from this Heritage Christian offense has been trying to find cutters oh, nice. just like yeah. that. Another shot off, rings off the post there for Jessa Watt. Second one tonight, isn't it? It is. She yeah. had the, uh, the breakaway goal yes. with nobody in front. Even the goalkeeper, Gonzalez, came out from the crease to try to defend in, in the clearing game. And Watt had nothing but daylight in front. This time in a free position, it's a save for Gonzalez. Clear. See if Westfield can have some better luck in this clearing game. The ball bounces through a couple defenders. It's picked up by Kayla Rice as she tosses it to her teammate. 
Riley O'Brien, and she's working hard against Allie, Allie Terrell. A little bit of contact on the head there. I believe so. Let me check that this will issue. This will be a, this will be a yellow. Yep, and let's we'll yell in a and a power play here for Westfield, as it were. So Westfield will be with an extra player for I believe a minute. For two minutes. Thank you. How many minutes? I'm sorry, Joey. You said two, two minutes. minutes. Always two on the yellow cards. Working around Cage and on crease. The goal line extended. Good pass from the cutter. No possession there for Allie Wyrick. So this is curious. It might have been a foul. It'll be a reset behind goal line extended. Westfield working through to try to find Cutter. You see that movement on offense. I just extra player. I just like how the defense has really shut this down, though. They sure have. This is Merriman, the freshman, has the lone goal of the day for the Rocks. Tries for the no tries for another one. This will be chased down by Westfield. There was a JV game before this game tonight. Westfield wins seven five in the JV game. Merriman, oh, good split dodge oh. to work through to the cage, and she gets it to go. That's her second goal of the night. Yep, the freshman is showing out so far. Fifteenth goal on the season from Merriman. And nicely done to work through on that split dodge key. And she knew she had it. Last year playing junior high lacrosse. It, isn't it amazing the growth of the game? As we, we've been around the game now three or four or five years and the growth of the, the freshmen are uh, almost like where they were when they were junior led. The skill right? level uh, the that skill has certainly gotten yeah. higher. We've seen it and because we've covered the men's game often over these last few years, now particularly with the women's game, you see it even more so. More, and more girls playing lacrosse, but the issue at hand still is getting more schools to sponsor it as a varsity sport. Right. Jessa Watt gets this ground ball. I threw it was tossed around there in the midfield. As she works out of the restraining box. Penalty is unreleasable. So Heritage will be a player down in this sequence. Likely just trying to kill it so they can go back to even strength. Got about 45 seconds if I'm right. Correct. And you already see Allie Terrell getting ready. Might be shorter on time than you thought, Keith. Time's flying by. Yeah, uh, it is. And here she comes on the floor. Two. And we're back to even. Kernut. <laughs> it's a ton of contact on cross check so. to come. Will there be a car? Doesn't look like it. Excuse me, did you have Chick fil A today? My goodness. <laughs> well, for what? Well, she knocked her down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's how close the contact was. <laughs> yeah. Well, but by the fourth quarter, we'll understand, we'll understand the reference. Fine. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to make it entertaining for the fans. <laughs> Kernut will have this at a free position in the eight meter. And the way our numbers have been for lacrosse, there's a lot of fans who are watching. Well, I love that, and they should be. This is a uh, this is a sport that deserves the coverage. 4-2, Heritage Christian nearly halfway through in this second quarter. Trying to find a Skoda who's already got a hat trick early today. Three out of the four goals for the Eagles. And this is Skoda as she gets pushed. Excuse me, Riggle as she gets pushed. Line up for a free. A 
was Ryrick, the guilty party there. Briggle to the cage, scoring. Nicely done by Anya Riggle. It's a heritage team that built up a little bit of a run in that first quarter. Maybe a sign of good things to come for the Eagles again. Scoring on the free position. at the situation with 605 left you got to feel pretty comfortable if you're heritage christian with this lead a three golden lead though i mean lacrosse forever the game of runs right you can you feel comfortable and then all of a sudden maybe it could turn on its head nicely yeah. done by natalie kernot to catch that in the air you make a good point joey last uh, saturday we were at avon in evansville bossy it was a close game at the end of three but bossy scores four or five goals in the final period and just took a, took advantage of it. Escoto trying to work through and dodge towards the cage once again, and she'll get a free position. But I think what Heritage has done tonight is they, he, they put pressure on Westfield from the beginning of the start of the game, and it's uh, really it's evident. That offensive pressure really taking on the character of Beth Bowles as a head coach. Spend 10 minutes with her and you'll you'll love your wife. I'm telling you, she she will make you feel like you're worth a million dollars. Pump you up a little bit. Kern up behind Cage, back to Watt. Watt with the goalkeeper charging forth, oh. and that's Gonzalez. And I don't know how she got that. In her face, collecting that save. Not common you see a goalkeeper actually be the one to have the hot slide, but Gonzalez was away from her home to get herself out there and make a play, just what she did. Now Westfield working to clear. Up to Cavalcanti. She's on the run. They have transition numbers if they want it. Right at the doorstep and scoring. Nicely done by Riley O'Brien, the sophomore, to give the, the Shamrocks their third goal. How about that transition goal? And that's what good clearing can earn you, Keith, when you move the ball that way. Good things tend to happen in your transition game. So you have a, you have a freshman who has scored two goals for you and a sophomore has, goaled the, uh, has scored the other one. So your youth has carried you today. Both teams with six seniors strong. This Westfield group has been a part of a program that's seen appearances in the semifinals and finals of the 1A state title game in their freshman and sophomore years. Last year, a junior year made it to the quarterfinals in their first year in 2A. This is a program and a group in particular this year that's still trying to find its footing at 5-5. Five and five. Of course, losing their best player in uh, Charlie Coxis, excuse me getting themselves back in the groove. It's 5-3 Heritage Christian ahead of Westfield here on Indiana SRN alongside the coach Keith Myers, Joey Lindstrom with you. As Escoto works through to Kernut. She charges toward the cage. Looking for a foul. And she'll gain a free position. And a beautiful save by Gonzalez. That's her fourth. She needs some help on the clear, though. It's in a dangerous area. Nice catch. 5 Merriman mm. trying to work through. Resetting here. We're in their half field set. Westfield inching closer and closer, trying to cut this deficit down to one. A little bit of contact, trying to work through on that dodge. 
but it will result in a free position for Kayla Rice, the senior. Rice Back passing door. down at the doorstep and a yeah. goal for Westfield. Ella Schaefer, fellow freshman. So you have Sophia Merriman with two already today, and now Schaefer joins the party. Tell you what, you got great eyes, but I tell you, our, our spotters down here, they have great eye. I don't know how they see that number as quickly as they get it. I, I, that's awesome. <laughs> Quick evaluation, little eagle eye uh, uh, perched up here. Oh, eagle eye. No, that's I good. I didn't even mean it. Didn't even mean to do it, but yeah. I'll take it. All right. Violation here. Got to go above the shoulders. Troy and I agreed that we both could not officiate this game. I think Troy would find a way. <laughs> He's a very objective person. And he loves re being a referee. I would be just afraid someone would hit me with a stick <laughs> while I'm right there. Well, they move away. The ball. Well, I understand, but I'm know, not that quick, Joey. Cocooned in there in between both crosses. <laughs> and it was Rice taking the draw there rather than Merriman on that particular possession. They'll alternate in between. They're going to get her for check to the head here. They will issue a yellow for two-minute penalty on Heritage Christian. They'll take it all the way to before we get to 30 seconds left in the half. And Westfield will be a player up. Cavalcanti will bring it up on this extra player opportunity. That's two yellows on Heritage now. Cavalcanti, the third leading scorer of this group with 11 goals this season. Off to Merriman in the bright green boots. Kenzie Rice. Flips it to Cavalcanti. Slippery, but to no avail as it gets checked away. Yeah, there's still a foul on Heritage Christian. But she's gonna slide her over. This is the this is tough right here. This is a I mean you're gonna sophomore go. that has a resume for scoring, and she does it again to tie the game at five. Hannah Cavalcanti. Confidently stepping down and shooting. Yeah, they, she definitely ripped that one. Between the feet of Katie Dixon. Hey, the Boilermaker th Local 374 represents highly skilled, highly motivated workers in field construction and metal fabrication throughout the state of Indiana. Start your career with Boilermakers Union Local 374. Call 219-845-1000. Also, check out the Indiana Sports Indiana SRN Sports page. Get up-to-date scores and much more. Check out the daily sports page at indianasrn.org. By the way, you can also check out all archived games on indianasrn.org. The lacrosse poll will be out tomorrow. You can check that out. I didn't receive my ballot in the mail this week. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let Troy know that <laughs> you didn't get a vote. Okay. So now Westfield is charged back into this thing. Merriman underneath took a little bit to get going as Rice... 
scoops this one. It's been all heritage, or it was all heritage in that first quarter. A 4-1 lead at the end of one. Moving into, a, into this spot now where we're tied. Back behind Cage off the quick restart. Oh, right. Ricky Run. gets it to go. Allie Wyrick, her first goal of the day, the leading scorer for this team, finally breaks the ice for her offensive efforts. And Westfield, more importantly for the Shamrocks, takes the lead. Spinning through against two defenders, Keith, and luckily keeping her toes outside of the outside crease as to not cause, the, cause a violation. Five people scoring for Westfield. So Westfield goes up a player and goes up a goal. This is going to go by the way of Westfield. Last touched apparently by Heritage Christian and Ali, Ter Ali Terrell. Kern up, chasing down Wyrick. He's got momentum and speed. Continuing to run the clock and back to even strength we go. But a timeout taken by Kirk Rice and the Shamrocks. And we will take a quick break. 22 seconds remain. Westfield out in front on Indiana SRN. Aspen Creek Grill, we are a from scratch concept with comfort fresh food. You can expect a, a world class experience on, on a great budget. We've got incredible specials, great service. Today's dish that we're gonna highlight is going to be our Aspen Blue Sirloin. It is again our premium Black Angus certified beef and we top that with the blue cheese crust. Again, everything that we do here is made from scratch and it's no different from our steaks. We hand cut all our steaks in house. So our team back there, uh, it, it's just an incredible team. Everything that they do, they take so much pride in. They put a little bit of themselves into everything that they do over here, especially since it is a made from scratch concept. We want everybody to come visit us, enjoy some great food with some great service. Bring your friends, bring your family, come have some great food, have a great time with us with some of the best comfort scratch food. Back here at Heritage Christian High School, alongside the coach, Keith Myers, Joey Lindstrom, with you today for the INGLA Girls Game of the Week. Here on Indiana SRN. And coach, you're in a spot where 22 seconds left. You're Westfield, you have the ball in the offensive zone. What kind of, what, what kind of uh, scheme do you think Coach Rice is drawing up here? I think you go to the top, right? Go to the top, get a cutter, score Work. here. You got a score here to make it a two-point deficit going into halftime. Feel pretty good going into the third quarter up by two. So work the dodge and get yourself in a good position on a cutter. Feels like a good recipe for success. They've climbed back into this lead. It was 4-1 at the end of one. And Westfield now going on a 5-1 run in this second quarter. The seesaw battle is to be. We got ourselves an instant classic. Midway through this, well, over a little over midway through the season. Wyrick, there's that dodge you were expecting. She gets slid on. A flock of eagles inside, and this one is chased down nicely by Heritage Christian. It's Jaden Self. An Iron Woman effort to wind down the clock at the end of the first half. Westfield still leads 6-5.
I'll turn to you, Coach. What are some adjustments you think that should be made here in, this te in the second half for both teams? I think really uh, Heritage Christian started off strong and then lost maybe their pace a little bit. So I think they just need to regroup again, put a little bit more pressure on Westfield uh, in the cage area. If you're Westfield, you feel pretty comfortable. You didn't play very well at first quarter, and now you lead at halftime uh, with the score of 6-5. A good spot to be if you're either of these teams. This thing feels like it could be on full tilt for either side. And we will step away for halftime. You're watching the INGLA Game of the Week on Indiana SRN, where you always have a front row seat. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to 17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. Violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to 17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. At first, me and my mom were struggling. I was trying to pay the bills and trying to take care of my mom at the same time. When I first heard that I can get paid for taking care of my mom, I was kind of skeptical because I had been doing it for so many years without pay. That's when I reached out to Passion to Care. I read all the reviews and I saw that they were number one in the field. Passion to Care has really, really changed my life. Right now, I take care of my mom 24-7 thanks to Passion to Care. 
can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. to Indiana SRN's coverage of the INGLA game of the week between Westfield and Heritage Christian. Getting you set for the second half here at Heritage Christian. Can I'm Joey Lindstrom alongside the coach Keith Myers. Can we say something real quick about yeah, basketball? Absolutely. If you're an Indiana Fever fan, you're going to be happy to see the Fever play this year. Yes, and if you hadn't already known or if you hadn't been updated already because you were so locked into our game thank you because that means a lot that's <laughs> yeah. all anybody could talk about is Caleb yeah. Clark yeah well I know you got, your, so. you got your season tickets right no I didn't get my season tickets oh, okay SRN doesn't pay me enough I was hoping for that in the <laughs> you mean your contract <laughs> for didn't a have game bonus or what have oh, you okay. yeah yeah no maybe when, when you have the one of the goats the soon to be one of the greatest players of all time coming to town <laughs> Prices will go up, and that's what happened Yep. Uh, in that situation. <laughs> Here's what's happening in our situation here. Westfield won uh, – excuse me, won. Yeah. They they won the, that second quarter, yes. if you really want to go by it. Heritage Christian was up 4-1 to one at the end of one, and Westfield came all the way back and had their own 5-1 run in that second quarter. Now, Keith, you mentioned that the big adjustment, just be both teams trying to continue to be aggressive, but we saw a good amount of physicality in that first half on the defensive side, maybe a little more aggression out of the offensive side is what you'd like to see. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think so. But, you know, right now th the key here is the first four or five minutes of this third quarter. How do you come out and do you come out and you play aggressive and, and go strong? I think Heritage needs a, a score right away to keep this thing close. I think if it gets two to three goals, they may not have the offensive punch to finish this, uh, I, but I, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with both of these teams. I could see why they're neck and neck in the standings. So far, so good on both sides for uh, cause turnovers, and both teams really shored up the clearing game in that second quarter. Felt started to feel like neither team really could get in, into a settled offensive look, really until that second set of 12 minutes and now we are into our second half of action the lights have turned on and we're set to go as the sun sets on this beautiful monday night in indianapolis so good to have you with us here on indiana srn we would like to have about five more of those days in a row today this week absolutely i'll take that it'll be sophia merriman for westfield and Jaden self for heritage christian on the draw and the midfielders have been doing work in this half. That's Bella Escoto. She had a hat trick in the first half and trying to make it four. And as she tries to penetrate through the defense, is quickly turned over. And it's off to Westfield on the clear. These two teams have done have had some great battles in the past. This one is shaping up to be a good one here. What a treat to have it in the record in the regular season. As Ella Schaefer, one goal in the first half, will try to scoot through and work behind Cage to X. She gets a step. And a oh. goal between the feet of Dixon. Westfield takes a two-goal lead. Thanks to these freshmen, four out of the seven goals today scored by underclassmen. Beautiful work to just go around the crease, know your matchup. That was 10, Ella Schaefer on that goal, her second of the day. So now you're down two. I remind you that one of your keys, particularly for Westfield, was a quick start. Mm -hmm. Again, they're getting that yeah, in the second half. Yeah, but they did that in the second half. Right. 
Does that still count? That's the question. Well, I don't know. I'll have to co talk to Coach and uh, see what he thought. But I thought you were Coach. Well, I, well <laughs> I, I never coached this game. I've coached a lot, but I've never coached this game. This would be a lot of fun to coach, though, especially girls, because they'll do whatever you tell them to do. And it's movement, right? I think yeah. that's why, a big reason why exactly. the, the rise of this sport and women's basketball, even, that I've heard it said that it, both sports are more fluid and they rely so much on the ability to screen and cut and the fundamentals of the game. Spinning and working through for a goal. Nicely done by 13, Kayla Rice, the senior. And Westfield has jumped out the gate since the second quarter and they haven't lost any steam. That matches their average of goals per game this season. They opened the season winning two, two straight and, excuse me, losing Two straight and then winning three consecutively after that. Key wins against Cathedral, Castle, and Evansville Memorial this year. Losses to the usual great suspects like Carmel, Evansville, North, and Noblesville. Carmel's and by down. the way, we did have a score update at halftime. Chatard was down in Noblesville, 6-1. to one. And that's surprising. Chatard is very, very good. Oh, yeah. We'll have uh, Cathedral Chatard next month. Yep. Two weeks' time. Can't believe April's already halfway, th halfway done. And the month of May, it will go hot and heavy for you uh, on SRN. And then the end of the month is the semifinals and, and the state finals June 1. Cannot believe our season's almost over. And it's been a blast. And when, it's, when it's fun like that, it goes fast. Here's Watt. Doubled up. Heritage served two penalties and had two yellows in that first half. Nearing the sphere there was Westfield, so this would be a Watt free position. Taking time to regroup here. Got to adjust my glasses. The, go the goggle my function. Goggle. Yeah, exactly. Watt charging through, nice cannot save. get that one to go. Still scoreless is Jessa Watt. And here it is Christian. Finds themselves down three. Westfield back in transition. They've got this part of the game figured out since the second quarter. And Heritage ride. Working hard to stymie the efforts there of the Shamrocks. And Kayla Rice brings it up. And a big emphasis for Kirk Rice, the head coach of this team, just to be able to move in and out, take on the identity that they've been able to have in this championship team years where they've been aggressive yet fundamental. As Merriman lines up for the free position, nearly four minutes gone in this third quarter. In front of the crease, that pass doesn't go. Wyrick sweeping through defenders and Good. a save by Katie Dixon. As Heritage will begin there, cleared nice save by Dixon and a goalie interference On Westfield with Dima for a restart here. And she'll get that back behind the X, correct? No, she'll okay. still get in the okay. crease. Okay, gotcha. Trying 
charging through a swarm of defenders. Just got a step. Anya Riggle, already one goal today. Finds Watt underneath, can't quite handle it on the cradle, but it's scooped up nicely. Oh! Thought maybe there should have been a foul there, possibly, and a makeup on that particular instance to give a free position there. A little bit of contact above the head. To Lily Marsh, yep. Mm. Officials trying to just have everybody be in the right position for to be set. Play initiates. Lily Marsh gets the goal to go. Nicely done by Marsh. Her first of the day. And might that help Heritage at least see one go in in this second half. Get your momentum back. Not five and a half minutes in now. Got the step. Nice job. Exactly what you what you ask for, and exactly what you need. If you're a Heritage Christian and Beth Bowles, this offense pretty potent this season through 11 games, 122 goals. Attack on six more. This team has been in good form. Mm. Lost Riley Cornwell, their All-American a season ago to a torn ACL. Westfield wins this draw. Merriman. Nice work off oh. the face, uh, off the draw, excuse me, and a big save there from Dixon. Nice help by the defense. Beautiful work. At the doorstep as Kernut tries to bring this up in the clear. It's got wheels, but got Wyrick all over her. Look at that. Escoto. She was the girl in, in the first quarter. A hat trick in that first half for Bella Escoto. Quiet since then, but yet again, this Heritage team has really been held at bay. Here's Watt. What a great oh, shot and a goal. The spin. Jessa Watt. We were just, she was described to us. Somebody who has great stick skills, that's obvious, can be a little bit wild and crazy at times, according to Beth Bowles. And I liken that to being creative. Well, I, I like the plant foot here. Look at the plant foot and then just the delivery. That's a hard shot to make, especially at the high school level. It's pretty impressive to be able to stop on a dime like that. You know, when the coach can be honest with you like that with us, like she was uncanny, it's so much fun, especially when you see him down because you see them as kids. A lot of fun. They're supposed to be having fun out there, Exactly right? right. That's what we're supposed to do. 8-7 our count in Westfield ahead by one. I know our, our crew in the press box is having fun tonight because they're making fun of you a lot during the time. Me? Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> okay. I'm glad. Sometimes I've, I don't want you to be a pun. I'll be your punching bag, Keith. <laughs> no, it's okay. Here we go. Got a game. Escoto can work through and get this possession for Heritage Christian. A team that can score from just about anywhere. And an offside there for Westfield. So help me here, Joey. Just you gotta and have, somebody there. Yep, you got to have four back here okay. for your defenders. And in the set possession, officials will not put the ball in play until everybody is in the correct spacing? Yep. Okay. Sometimes not everybody has to be stopped if it's a quick restart. But typically you have to be at least stopped for a moment, a beat. And now they've asked the play clock to be stopped. Now we go. Working around the cage is Bella Snyder. That ball tried to get, try to find its way to Watt for the shot. Now into the cross of Lily Marsh around goal line extended. 
Gonzalez loves to come out of the crease. Yes, to try is. to play a little bit of defense. Love to see that out of your netminder. Kernut charging through multiple defenders. Draws the foul. And this will be assessed here on Westfield. She reminds me of a player that she'll hit you before you hit her. <laughs> Best to get out of the way. <laughs> yes. She is determined. I hear she plays like her mother. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> Kernut charging to the cage off the post. Did it go in? Oh, push by Westfield. She'll have a second chance at this if she wants to charge once again. Did someone hit the post, though, Gerald? Because that yep, she moved did. the whole entire post. I think Gonzalez maybe leaned into it and bumped. And we got a yellow card on, no, uh, on uh, Westfield. It was Wyrick, the guilty party. So this will be two minutes served, and this will end. This penalty will be served all the way till 134 on the clock. There it is. Christian will have a player up. Westfield was able, able to take advantage in that first half on a player up opportunity, and there it is. Christian looking for the same fate. Kernut, once again, that was over top the crossbar. It ends up in the cross there of Kayla Rice. Well, you got and you got a player down there for Westfield amongst the contact there. That happened behind the play. Did not see what happened there. The officials will I'm trying to see who the player is. It might be Calvacanti, number five She's for Westfield. The yep. Might just get checked out and see if she's okay. Oh, you know this, ooh, big contact and big push there from Bella Snyder, whether it inverted or not. It counts, and let's go back to Westfield, or stay with Westfield, rather. Uh, the momentum and the intenseness has uh, fastly improved. It's a tight game, and these teams have strong history with each other. I mean, two state title games played against each other over the last five seasons. Programs are well equipped for a good run again. Another big push, and this time. Rice is down, and yellow card will be issued to Jessa Watt. And that will be a two-minute, so that will be with 47 seconds. So that would mean Westfield will be a player up for the better part of 45 seconds. If my math is correct. Well, you're a Butler grad, so I'm sure that would be correct. I'm make my institution proud of my on-air math skills. So that is Calvacanti. So she was not the player down. Try to get word on that for you. And Merriman, along with both Rice sisters. And Ella Schaefer as well. Merriman and Schaefer both two goals to lead the roster here for Westfield tonight. Rice to Merriman. She had a brief step, and it's saved by Dixon. Boy, Nicely she, done by the goalkeeper. And fortunately, she picked up that ball because that ball was on the move there, Joey. Now Heritage to clear. And they find a goal. We're at even strength as of right now. Soon to change here in the next 20 seconds or so. Heritage will be a player down. Escoto, good look, but it's a save by Gonzalez. And Gonzalez, a brave effort to come out the crease for the clear. 
Ooh, that's not a good pass, though. Crossed body. Well, works Got out nicely for yeah. Westfield, at least for this sequence. They're trying to get out of their own way on the clear, but it's interfered with nicely by Klingerman. Back to Heritage we go. Klingerman charging forward. Reckless abandon doesn't care about how many Westfield players there might be. She was dragging four players with her. And scored, and scored a goal, but whistle happened before the goal. You know, Kyle Ray might want some of these girls to play football for you. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> they're brute. In a nice way. I mean, they're, I, I like their aggressiveness. Playing physical. 50 seconds remain in our third quarter. And it's Klingerman with that left hash. Penalty killed there. Yellow card killed there for Heritage. And it ends up, oh, being off the post there. Klingerman tried the backhanded shovel. Like it was mulch day. And it's a turnover here now for Westfield, as it were. Picked up nicely by Maddie Meyer. And Westfield kicking out of their own way at the end of this third quarter. Heritage can just wind this down if they so desire. And that is it. That will be exactly what happens. 8-7 the lead for Westfield at the end of three. Continues to be a one-goal game over the last two quarters. Promises a good one in the fourth. Be back with you after the break right here on Indiana SRN. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. Bertner Electric Incorporated is fully licensed and bonded electrical contractor for your protection. Our electricians are available 24-7 for service calls and specialize in electrical service and storm damage repair. For more information, Give us a call today. Stick. That's all I give it. If, your whole, if my hand is the stick like a ball. We really focus on modern application development, DevOps, so automating the whole process of delivering your solution, and cloud architecture. It's very important uh, for large, mid to large companies to have cloud partners because you can't possibly have all the talent you need to address the complex ecosystem of the cloud. We advise them on all parts of their business. And then when things are defined and we see a clear goal, Cleanslate also then goes and does the work. We have a team that is very passionate about what they do. We love to solve complex problems, and there's a lot of companies out there that will avoid you know, getting involved in those things, and I think that's why clients like to work with us. Hey, our one and two guy, second half. Yeah. Daniel Miller. He's crushing it. He's crushing it. Yeah, he really let's go, is. Daniel. Yeah. He got out in the sun yesterday. Yeah, I thought his, I thought he was just nervous. No, like, no. Uh, well, you thought he was embarrassed. No, or nervous that. or embarrassed that we were giving him a shout. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't I, ever be. I heard he played. Uh, he, he did some work on softball and forgot to wear sunscreen. I don't blame him. I, I thought he was a <laughs> tomato when he first walked in the door. A check is on the uh, cameras tonight. That's Joey. I'm Coach. Baseball for you tomorrow on Indiana SRN. Guess where we're at tomorrow? Heritage Christian versus oh. Covenant Christian. Okay, there yeah. you go. Right here at Heritage Christian. Nice. You so, you spending the night here in the press well, box? Well, uh, you know, my house is seven minutes away. I can just go home and, you know, do the morning show and then come out early. Are you going to walk here? I know you love no, walking. I don't, no, 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 no. You sure? Yeah. Well, I guess I could. <laughs> you could, yeah. yeah. Come on, get out there. Yeah. I walked you today. Get yourself a little sun. I, I walked five flights of stairs coming up. <laughs> I'm waiting for the elevator but I hear you sent. Yeah, you sent the boys to get you dinner. I today. did. I didn't want to go down those stairs the, <laughs> for the fifteenth time. I've got to thank the athletic departments of both teams and the coaches 
outstanding. Thank you so much for helping us out as this is the lacrosse game of the week. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a blast. This is, is so much fun. Glad we get to do this and bring this to you, especially on a weeknight, let alone a Monday. There's other things going on in town, I suppose, like Caitlin Clark <laughs> becoming the new Indiana Fever member and future GOAT, that's for sure. But all eyes right here on this one goal game between Westfield and Heritage Christian. It's a Skoto with the key ground ball to open up the fourth quarter. She had a hat trick in the first half, quiet since, but then again, so is the entire Heritage Christian team. You just feel like if they get over, they tie this thing, they, they go, just go right over to the top. I think so, too. There's a strong sense that they can get this done quickly as that one tries to go through to self. And Lankford chasing that ball down and trying to get it before it gets out of bounds. Unsuccessful. I want to give you a shout to Morales Group. Our mission is building better futures one story at a time. We acknowledge the whole person and... Their individual story. Just like you with walking here tomorrow, coach. <laughs> yeah. The Morales group empowering the you. The story will be the coach drove here. <laughs> <laughs> Good clear here for Westfield. Something that plagued them in that first quarter and really a half of the second quarter. Now, better chance to get moving here into your offensive possession. That's something that Kirk Rice has really shorn up here. Wyrick thinking better of that dodge attempt, and Westfield is content to spin this around. Sophia Merriman, two goals today. Cavalcanti sweeping through wide of the cage. Here's Schaefer. Just kind of awaiting a cutter, perhaps, as Wyrick takes it herself. Back by back behind X. Good movement from Westfield. Couple screens set. Schaefer working back out. Wyrick. Nobody around swarmed by the Eagle defense. Ground ball. Escotome had it for a moment, and it is jostled around. Back to Heritage Christian it goes on the cover. That's pretty good defense right there. It was. Nice defensive possession for Heritage Christian. Westfield just looked a little bit out of sorts in that offensive set key. As Kernup brings it up. Speed. For the Eagles. He's got it in the pink boots. You should start wearing pink shoes, I think, Coach. Nope. My orange is enough. But I like the boots. Also the goalie on here, it's Christian's soccer team. So you got to have swag when working on the toe drags. Escoto. Got it. Nicely done, wow. and we're tied. Bella Scotto, four goals today, half of her team's total to retie with 8.40 to go. Look at the patience here, turns around. I mean, that's, that's strength. Didn't put a particular amount of juice on that no. shot either. Just kind of found the spot where the goalie was and she went high and stick side as well. That goal brought to you by Piper Logistics, Piper Warehouse, a group of logistics professionals dedicated on working together to provide our clients with complete logistics in Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Roll with us. Piper Logistics. Draw goes the way of Westfield. Got ourselves a game here late. And a beautiful night in Indy. Time to factor here, 8.25. Merriman. Careful to dodge the almost foul there on Heritage Christian. Wyrick gets it taken away, but 
a foul will result in a free position. Wyrick trying to find the blank space in the defense. And this Heritage defense doing well to go ahead and deflect that shot. And a stoppage here. This would be a yellow. I thought that might have been dangerous follow through. Yeah, that's good call, Joey. That's good call. And it sure is a dangerous follow through, and that will Dean, the possession back to Heritage Christian. I do believe that's their third yellow card of the night. And dangerous spot to be here if you're Westfield now giving Heritage Christian the extra player for two minutes. Five and a half minutes will be the mark. Of course, this will be unreleasable. So you get the, right here, you get a goal here. You're in pretty good shape here, aren't here's, you? Yeah, here's Klingerman. She is fond of the Iron Woman effort to try to work through the entire defense, no matter who's in the way. Instead, she finds Escoto, who's got the hot hand as she charges through. Might have been a cross check. Gonna be the top. And push here. Be a foul on Westfield and put Escoto. And a beautiful angle in the 8-meter. And she scores! Bella Escoto has put the team on her back with five goals today and now seizes the lead for Heritage Christian. I tell you, this game has been up and down all evening long. That's 31 goals in the season for Escoto. Just a flip of the wrist, too. Most of her goals have come right at the doorstep. We saw that beautiful step-down rip from Jessa Watt as well. Passion to Care is dedicated to helping you care for a loved one. Through Indiana State programs, we provide financial compensation. Contact today, 833-420-6640. Also brought to you by Family Source Insurance, your independent agent representing Ohio Mutual Insurance. Contact today for all your insurance needs. Heritage Christian has seized the lead again. A good save from Merriman, a good effort, but she steps out of bounds, steamed by the official. So back to Heritage we go, and Jaden Self will try to propel this possession for the Eagles. And the intenseness has arrived again in the next Six minutes is going to be a lot of fun. Just a Watt. Oh, look at the speed. Nicely done, but better defense there by Ella Lowry. Keeps it alive and gives it back to Westfield. Got some student sections on both sides. You can hear them. Showing out. Cavalcanti. She thought about maybe... She was winding up. Taking a strike at it, and she gets fouled on the running through contact there with Klingerman, and this will be. Is this a yellow card? It looks like the officials will deliberate to decide if this should be a yellow card. Now, mind you, Heritage is still an extra player up for the next 30, 34 seconds. I like how the officials got together. Has she, what did she determine? I think she waved the yellow, yellow card, card after they deliberated. So, Heritage Christian will still be an extra player up. Well, the Heritage Christian fans are happy about that. However, it sets up for a Cavalcanti shot if she wants it. She's taking one before. She'll take it again, but it's off the post. You can hear the crowd. We have a crowd tonight. Merriman 
Looking for Riley O'Brien, who's got one goal today. And right. for the assist, but this will be set up for a free position for Merriman. Joey, we got student section to the left and student section to our right. And Westfield, they're on defense. Yep, and, and both going the way of the opposite goalkeeper. Yes. So they're, they can cheer their offense on accordingly. And Westfield now just realizing that they are now even strength. 5.20 to play, final period. And Heritage crowd getting into it too. Cavalcanti, the sophomore. Already one goal netted today. Merriman sweeping through. That one's wide of the cage, who's closest along the end line. That was close. Westfield will retain possession. Ella Schaefer. Maybe almost had a step there to try to get a shot off. She thinks better of it. Westfield wants the right shot here, Coach, not just any shot. I tell you what, though, Heritage Christian's defense has stepped up the last four minutes. Merriman and Westfield went on a 5-1 run in that second quarter. Good defense, but a foul. It'll be Calvacanti once again at the free position. The ability to make it. Knotted up. The goalie in front of her. Oh, She gets it checked away. Awesome play. Klingerman charging through for the clear. No outlet here for Klingerman yet on this clear. She doesn't need one. What a great defensive effort. Push. Now what you do, Joe, what do you do here, Joe? You three minutes, do you just, are you so deliberate with the ball? More than welcome to hold it as long as they possibly can. And Westfield will undoubtedly try to take this ball away when it gets really down to crunch time. But for now, they could tend to just have maybe one player on ball and then just slide like they will here. Escoto, though, has five goals, so she's probably the one you don't want to have the ball here. But, but now it's Heritage Christian just content to work it around. But every pass has to be very crisp, right, and follow through? No doubt. Okay. There is no rule on delay, correct? Nope. No shot clock. No delay. Following a quick restart. It's Kernot back to Escoto. As we're under two to play. And now Westfield will begin to double. Escoto back to Kernot. And she's got nice. open space if she wants it, but they're going to continue and try to pepper around this offense. And the more aggressive there is Rice. Kernot will have it on the restart. I think the spot you want to be is to go to X, go to behind the cage, and Westfield causes a turnover here. Maybe, but Klingerman is sure and a ground ball, and she might go ahead and carry this thing around behind cage. Explain to our fans at home what X is, Joey. If they're just, just behind, the just behind cage, behind the goalkeeper. Stopping, stopping here at the clock as there is a, a timeout, timeout for Beth Bowles, which means we will take one with them. 108 remains here at Heritage Christian. The Eagles hold a one goal lead. Be back with you in a minute.
Aspen Creek Grill, we are a from scratch concept with comfort fresh food. You can expect a, a world-class experience on, on a great budget. We've got incredible specials, great service. Today's dish that we're gonna highlight is going to be our Aspen Blue Sirloin. It is again our premium Black Angus certified beef and we top that with the blue cheese crust. Again, everything that we do here is made from scratch and it's no different from our steaks. We hand cut all our steaks in house. So our team back there, uh, is, it's just an incredible team. Everything that they do, they take so much pride in. They put a little bit of themselves into everything that they do over here, especially since it is a made from scratch concept. We want everybody to come visit us, enjoy some great food with some great service. Bring your friends, bring your family, come have some great food, have a great time with us with some of the best comfort scratch food. Welcome back to Indiana SRN's coverage, the INGLA Game of the Week. You can catch any action that you missed on indianasrn.org. All the replays and even more so. And well, I you, will tell you this. Yeah. The replays tonight, there's probably 25 ladies that will not go to bed tonight. They would be watching this game to see how well Daniel produced this game. Oh, nicely done, Daniel. Wow. And they're not going to watch themselves. No, watch no. They want the to production. see how well you did. And yeah. <laughs> Joey, first, and you did really well. You only said that one word one time today. What? The E word. What's E word? E S. Oh, I'm lost. P. Especially? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I, you mean. Whatever you do mean, I, Keith. I did not use the word absolutely. Are you carrying tonight. this giant hand sanitizer <laughs> no, jug around, not, by the way? It's my paperweight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> when I came in, you know, I had both doors open, and the young lady said, hey, we need to shut these doors because it's going to get cold. And, boy, I'm cold right now, I'm telling you. I Both didn't teams. get a jacket. I didn't see no jacket up here for me. Here we go. Both teams assessing the correct strategy. It was a timeout taken there from Heritage Christian here. It might have heard some of the uh, some of our accompaniment here in the press box you only go to X and I think that is the right call so you because you just you don't have a, the proclivity for danger when you're up ahead at the uh, top of top of the uh, uh, offensive zone if you will so if you're Westfield do you just go after the ball constantly? you got it continue to double team the best way you can do it the field's too big for you to have one player just try to chase down who do you, another. Who do you give the ball to if you're Heritage Christian? I mean, I think you got to go with Skoto. It's five goals on an effort. I mean, it's an incredible feat. Got to give room as well as Kernut will work this one down the right sideline. Minute to play here at Heritage Christian. Another quick foul by Westfield. They're trying to just jar this ball loose as Kernut seems to she must, be the player that they would love to have her run a must, marathon around yeah, this field. Yeah, she must run cross country during the fall because she's the only one. No, she's the goalie in the soccer team. Oh, is she? Okay. I'm sorry. I missed that. She's a stud. Now they try to get it back to X, but the ball's loose. It's picked up by Westfield. Ground ball. She can't pick up the ball. Got to have it, though, if you're Westfield. 20 seconds remain, and the Shamrocks got to make quick work. It's picked up by Merriman. This is going to be it. Final 10. Merriman charging towards the cage, and she is fouled. This will set up. This will set up a free position, but a timeout first for Kirk Rice. Oh, my goodness. So what a transition play. We're going to take another break. Five seconds remain in a play drawn up, surely. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter, at IndianaSRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now, at IndianaSRN. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. Back here at Heritage Christian, Westfield has just taken the transition game off the turnover from Heritage Christian. 
They will have a foul incoming, and they took a timeout, so free position likely here for the Shamrocks. 31 seconds is when they got the ball, so it took them a while to get there, but boy, did they get there. Well, and a couple good, uh, a really nifty play by Merriman. And good wheels to get all the way down there. And now if you're Kirk Rice, I mean, imagine that the position that you're in is you'd love to have Merriman, of all people, take this shot because or she's Schaefer. the one that gets fouled. Or you could have a spot where you could pass really quick at yeah. the door. And now if you're Heritage Christian, you got to shore up the defense real tight here. Six players have scored for Westfield and five against uh, five for Heritage. It's been such it's been a, a fun game. A Herculean effort by Bella Scotto today to have five goals. Yeah. You ever had five goals in a game? I, n I didn't have one goal in a game. Well, I, play I played defense, so I wasn't oh, a... Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I was the I was the clear man. I wasn't allowed to do anything else. <laughs> I didn't have a good shot. Not well, the, like not like these girls. The Heritage Christian has a Heritage Christian has a standing ovation with their players and their fans. Yeah, it's been a good crowd on hand tonight. That's for sure. Over eighteen thousand, I hear. Yep. <laughs> no, that's not. That's a, that uh, might be down at Gamebridge. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Important here to have every person accounted for. Merriman will be at the 12 meter mark rather than the eight, but dead center. So in all likelihood, she's going to try to pass to a cutter. Everyone needs to be accounted for. I love the goalie. The goalie just came out of the crease and just told everybody what to do. I like that leadership. Good work by Katie Dixon to get everyone set. Last ditch effort to tie this game and send us to overtime. Merriman. Not going to get it off. Has to take it here, and she'll run out of time. <laughs> Heritage Christian tightens up on defense, and the Eagles are victorious over Westfield to secure their seventh win of the season. What a defensive effort. I'd say no room at all for Merriman. You see it here. I mean, she was like a magnet. No one was going to get it. And if any, if anything, she would have tried to follow through, and it could have been a dangerous follow through. So that is how we end. Heritage Christian wins 9-8 to go to 7-5. And, and Westfield falls to 5-6. and six. But what a game. Coach, any final thoughts? Best game of the season so far, right? That's it's, right. It gets better and better and better. Stay with us. May 1st, did you say, I think, is the – May 2nd. May, May 2nd is you the next it. time we're on the air. So. Well, for Chuck Levine, our producer and cameraman, and for Daniel Miller, our cameraman and then producer, and the coach, Keith Myers, I'm Joey Lindstrom. This has been the ING, INGLA Game of the Week on Indiana SRN, where you always have a front-row seat. So long.